Welcome to the testing board. In this session, we are going to cover manual test step. Here, I'm on the SOAP UI. I'm going to create few steps in my test case. So right now, I have a project. Inside the project, I have a test suite. And inside the suite, I have a test case. I'm adding first step, which is test request. SOAP test request and I'm giving the name step one, hitting the service, it's get country by country code. So that's a step one. Click on OK. And here, one step is added to the test case. I'm giving input that is IN. I want to add one more step, so I'm going to add step SOAP test request, giving the name step 2, and here get currency by country. So I'm adding one more service, and here I have the two requests. I'm giving country name, which is India. I'm running it, and here we see we are getting a response. So now I have a test suite. Inside the test suite, I have a test case with the two steps. If I'm going to run this test case, I'm running it and all the steps are working fine. So here my use case is like, I want to check my country name by the country code. Once I get the response, I want to restart the server and then I want to execute this step 2. Means between the step 1 and 2, I want to restart the server. That is a one situation. We can have many situations like after running the step 1, I want to clear logs of my server and then I want to hit step 2. So one easy solution for that is to add a delay test step. So I'm adding a delay between these two test steps and I'm setting the time of 1 lakh millisecond, which is equal to 100 seconds. So how we are going to execute this? I'll execute this, step one will execute, then my test case will pause for 100 seconds in this 100 second, I can go to my server, I can clear my logs, or I can restart my server. But problem here is that if I'm able to start the server in 5 seconds only, so it will wait for 95 more seconds because if you set delay of 100 seconds, it means it's going to make pause of 100 seconds. But my server started in 5 seconds only, so 95 seconds I am wasting over here. That is a one condition. Second condition could be like I have given 100 seconds, but when I go to restart the server, my server got hanged and it is not started in the 100 seconds. And after the 100 seconds, my step 2 is going to be executed, but it will fail because my server is not started or it is hanged. So we have seen we can use delay, but that is not the best approach because it might be possible it is making my script slower or it might be possible my script will fail. So the situations when I want to perform some manual task. Manual task means I want to restart my server manually. I want to clear my logs manually. So whatever the manual task you want to perform with your automation script. So in that case, we can add manual test step. So here I'm giving the name, it's manual step. And here a step is added. I want to add this manual step in between the these two steps. So I drag the step and drop it to between step one and step two. Now we are defining here, what is the task that we want to perform in this manual step. So I mentioned 
restart your server what is the expected result so expected result is server should be started server should be started successfully so here i have added a manual step in which we have given the description and the expected result so whenever i'm going to execute this test case first it will execute my step 1 now it moves to the manual step and a pop up gets open so now i can go to my server manually and i'll start my server and once i have done that it might be 2 second 20 second or 100 seconds once i done that i'll go here and i can enter the actual result over here so actual result is server started successfully and now you can set pass or fail so i'm setting here pass and okay so here we see we have a test case in which we have the three step but one is the manual step manual step means we as a user is going to perform some task manually which cannot be performed by the soap ua so in this case my all the steps are getting passed so my test case is passed i'm taking one more example like i'm starting it and somehow you are going to start the server but you are not able to start it i'm giving the result server is hanged and i want to make it fail i want to make this test step fail so click on ok here we see my test case got failed because if any of the step inside a test case has failed ultimately my complete test case will fail so here we can see we are getting failed status so that is the manual test step thanks for watching this video